Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are going to see how you can root your OnePlus 3 again. So this is an updated video. So I have shown you how to root previously Marshmallow and the open beta build. So this is my OnePlus 3. So you have seen it a lot of times. And this is running the official 4.2.1. And in previous video I have shown you how you can roll back to from open beta 10 to the official. So this is the version is here running and right now got final. And it is not rooted. We can check here same. This is the root checker basic. If I just open it. Because I got a lot of questions here, can you show me a rooting thing? So it's not yet rooted as you can see. All right. So the things you're gonna need. So make sure to watch my previous video and you can check the playlist rooting and write forms or there's another playlist for OnePlus videos, OxyNOS and OnePlus. So I'll put the both playlist link and direct videos too in case uh, you're not able to find that. So you need a cable and a computer setup to root that. And uh, I got a few questions too, like what is that white device? So this is a OnePlus 3 converter from micro USB to type C. So why I'm using this converters and even though I have the official cables, the reason being this is a Nokia cable. I'm still using this is an eight years, nine years old, I guess I bought it with this phone. So from nine years is still using and it's so flexible. I had the official cables. They are very, you know, getting harder since it is three degree in Delhi. So, but still you can see the quality of the cable completely flexible. All right. So get to the things. First things you're going to know is a computer setup, which is uh, and it has to be installed with ADB in the fast boot. You can install the Google latest ADB fast boot. I will put that link too. You can use that. Uh, probably you can watch the old videos in case you can set up Android Studio. And you need a uh, twerp. You can get the twerp from here. There's the official twerp app I did have shown you. So you can just use this app and search your device. Select your device here. You can just search for device. So they are not updated. They have OnePlus 3, 3.0.3 uh, hyphen 1, but we are going to use 3.0.2 hyphen 19. So, because that was working on previous build, so I'm going to try that same. Once you have that twerp installed here, you have to copy SuperSC file to this phone internal memory. Then you have to reboot to the bootloader. So, I'm just going to show you on the screen how you can do that. Or you can go with the advanced recovery if you have enabled this. You can click here, reboot option. You go to the recovery mode from there you can stop so i am going to um, the recovery from this power button you can use the command fast boot reboot recovery so go to recovery so now you can see on this my screen and this is the directory where I have installed my Android Studio and I have this following files available. So I'm going to use this twerp 3.0.2-19 and the super SD that I have copied to my phone is SR2. I'm not going to use SR5, uh, sorry this 2.78 because the one I have previously word is 2.79. So I'm going to use that. So I'm inside this here recovery. So I need to actually go to the bootloader. So I'm just going to go a bootloader again. I actually forgot I had installed this official recovery. So you can go to the fastboot command from here. So here we have the fastboot command. So just make sure to type fastboot devices whether devices are connected or not. So it shows some number that means device is connected. Now you have to stall through the command should be fastboot slash recovery then the twerp we are going to use so i'm going to use the twerp you can see 3.0.2-19-1 uh, plus dot img so it has stalled now you have to uh, go to the recovery from here this recovery mode click here Hey guys, a uh, quick update here. So you might have heard about the twerp password issue. So I'm also getting a lot of password issues. I'm not able to solve one plus three because it needs to reset complete data. And I know that can fix, but it's still I'm trying out some work around. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to click it cancel. And I'm just going to try with ADB side load method so that you can do here, I guess on advanced ADB side load. So now I'm just going to start this here since uh, it cannot clear everything it's not mounted so starting adb sideload feature i'm just going to flash the super su 
from my command prompt. So right on the computer screen you can see this is my command prompt and I have downloaded a new uh, super SU I guess no it's SR2 if it doesn't work I'm going to try out this new twelve here so I have heard on the Windows forum it is working so first I'm going to try out this 3.2.2-19 which is already stored so I'm just going to flash this super SU so command will be adb side load and uh, this is the G file SR2 let's see whether it's working or not So it shows is stalling my ADB side load. We will check out after rebooting whether it is working perfectly or not. So otherwise you can do the most function from here itself on the phone. You don't need to come to the twerp. So we'll just try to reboot. Alright. So the device has came back. I'm just going to try with to check a basic I don't know if it is going to work or not so I always show you guys the live demo so you can get to know in case you're getting some kind of error so this is a root checker basic try to verify so it's not rooted but it shows that it is stalled so what we can try since there is no super SU came super SU is here so it's not rooted all right so I'm just going to uh, go back to again to recovery and try to stalling this the latest uh, 3.2.2-23 that on the OnePlus forum a lot of people have said it is working. So on the computer screen you can see I'm just going to flash again this the one of the version that I have here OnePlus 3 T 23 so it has finished stalling I'm just going again to the reboot let's see you yeah, guys just trying out I don't know whether it's going to work or not so I'm going to click cancel again start modification advance ADB side load let's see whether the command works or not so I'm just going to flash this 2.79 SR2 again So let's see whether this time is rooted or not so I don't think so it is rooted because I'm going to get the same problem I know that thing so I'm just going to stall uh, official stock recovery I'm just going to try that out cleaning everything else and let's see whether that should work or not so none of the methods work I stall the official stock recovery and then I tried to stall the super SU it was not working so I'm just going to clear everything else I'm just going to first check out what is in advance and now click on this uh, wipe data and cache it you have to click here uh, erase everything so that will complete uh, erase your all data so wait for it to complete the wipe so it's done click on the reboot button it's going to be a fresh device again so guys finally uh, I've stalled everything else and now it's not asking for twerp so I'm just going to summarize again so we have seen a lot of stuff like you know when you're trying to stall uh, root using twerp it was asking for the password so I tried a lot of stuff like removing pin password changing pin pattern and whatever else you have think of that doesn't work so finally I've shown you I went inside this uh, stall the stock recovery uh, it is everything went inside the advanced option then clean it, it is everything else then after that I configured my phone then again I went inside the recovery it was not asking for password so I have just copied my super SU and I have just enabled the advanced reboot I'm just going to try that out whether we are able to root a device running Android Nougat 4.2.1 official on the OnePlus 3 so now we got that team in and yes this time I have installed 3.2.2-23 
but it's still it is showing version hyphen one I don't know why so now I can go inside this stall section everything is mounted download this is my file sr2 version 2.79 this is what I'm going to stall to root my device all right click here swipe to confirm flash so before do any kind of stuff make sure to take backup don't wait for anything else otherwise you will shout out me like this is you lost my data so i'm telling you always copy everything on your computer on a usb drive take proper twerp and write backup clean swipe to wipe reboot so we got our device back and uh, also guys if you you know uh, do advanced wiper using stock recovery so you will get this uh, uh, f2fs file system i'm just going to make a new video how you can do that but you can see my file system got to f2fs now it's time to see whether our device is rooted or not so i'm just going to uh, find out root checker this is root checker just going to install it in front of you so it is installed this is root checker basic agree okay verify root so i guess this is uh, asking for permission so grant for permission you can see my device is rooted perfectly now let me show you quickly the version number of the os in case you're wondering so this is oxygen s 4.0 running on the one plus three running the page on the android new one so that's it guys but it's a pretty long video i'm sure you guys find this video helpful this is sarah i'll catch you next video thanks for watching